Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply, and today I'm doing something kind of interesting. I'm doing a comparison of two of what I would say the highest end or the most popular mini cyclones out there. Now, generally, these are designed to fit on your standard shop vac or similar or dust extractor. Um, and I just want to compare these two high end units to each other because the mullet is very, very new, and the uh, clear view here is kind of the industry standard. All right, so we're gonna talk about a few things. Uh, one is gonna be how each of these units attaches directly to the cyclone or directly to the vacuum, because that's quite a bit different between these two. Uh, we're gonna talk about how do they do as far as their filtration efficiency, so how good a job they do at separating the chips. We'll also talk about how portable they are and um, how to empty them. Okay, so let's start with how they attach to the vacuum. Now the Clearview uh, Cyclone here, this is kind of the traditional way, the way most will attach. Um, now I don't have the hose that comes with the Clearview. Normally it comes with a very nice gray five foot hose that will go on the top of the Cyclone. And then this hose then attaches to your vacuum. Now I'm using the CanVac uh, dust extractor there, but that in essence is how you attach the Clearview Cyclone separator to a vacuum. Very simple like that there. Now the beauty is if you had a different type of vacuum, um, it's very easy to switch that back and forth where you could just unplug that and put that into any vacuum you want. Um, now the one thing that you can notice here, these are both on wheels, uh, but they are independent of each other. Um, so you do have to make sure that you're not gonna want this to tip over. Um, I know when I have this hooked up to my CNC machine, if I'm not careful moving this vacuum around, I can grab the hose and make this tip over fairly easy. So, the next one we'll talk about here is the mullet. Now the mullet is quite a bit different than any other cyclone on the market here, where they come with, this is a rivet, uh, rigid PVC pipe right there. And what you do when you're setting up the mullet is you actually will custom cut at the proper height for your vacuum. So what will happen is this little adapter will go in your vacuum here, just like that. And I could use a hose clamp if I wanted that to be totally tight in there. But then it'll slide in just like this. And with a little thumb screw, that locks in place. So the really cool thing about how this is set up right here is now the vacuum and the mullet are these basically the same unit. You don't have to worry about the cyclone tipping over. Um, and when you're moving it, it all just comes really nice together. So that's a really neat feature that the mullet has that no other mini cyclone has. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the cyclone design and how well they do at actually filtering chips. And we'll do a little test at the end here. Um, now the Clearview Cyclone, common teaching tells us when the Cyclone design is the taller the Cyclone is, the better that's going to do at filtering the chips. Now the Clearview Mini Cyclone here, it is by far the tallest of any of them, which should mean um, the best filtration out there. Um, so really nice design there and we'll test that in just a minute here. Now the mullet has kind of went a different direction here. Uh, you can see it's quite a bit shorter than the Clearview. Um, now they went with a parabolic uh, cyclone design. So you can see that's not a perfect um, cone on the bottom here. It's kind of got a parabolic shape to it. Um, and my understanding with the parabolic design is you can get very similar, if not the same cyclone efficiency with a shorter cyclone as you can compared to a taller one like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test these two um, cyclones and see how they perform against each other. Okay, so we have the clear view all set up to uh, suck up that sawdust. Now just to show you the can back, we got a little bit of uh, dust on the inside, but it's essentially empty. Um, and we're going to suck up this pail of sawdust here. So that's a mixture of hand tool uh, shavings, so some planer shavings some uh, bandsaw sawdust, and also uh, I noticed some tortilla chips that I cleaned up earlier, so we got a good mixture of everything <laughs> in there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, 
Let's get this going here. Let's see how we do. So we got that bucket totally empty here. Um, we should be pretty close to a full bucket here. Let's first open up the can back and see how we did on the inside of there. So I would say next to no sawdust ended up inside the can back. Maybe some of the finest stuff, but certainly nothing large ended up inside here so I guess we'll quickly look inside of the clear view and see what things look like in there there you go now this is another good example I might as well do this at the same time on how you go ahead and empty this cyclone so the clear view it has a cap that will top that will pop right off just like I showed you and then what you do is you can just dump that out wherever you need it to be. So now let's quickly go ahead and do the same with the mullet. We have the mullet all hooked up to the can back here, so we'll do the same thing. Um, one other kind of cool thing I'll mention about the mullet here, when you do have a hose hooked up like that, it actually has a lock right on the top, so you don't have to worry about that hose pulling out there either. So all nice and secure and compact. Okay, let's give it a test here. See how she does as far as separating goes. We have sucked up all the sawdust. You can see all the sawdust in there right through the clear window, which is kind of cool. But first, let's open up the can back and we'll take a look at how much ended up in here. Hard to tell, but there is certainly no large chips, maybe a little bit of fine dust. I didn't actually clean it out at all after the clear view because it was so clean. So I would say if it's not the same separation efficiency as the clear view, it's got to be really close. Very, very similar. And now when it comes to emptying it, we'll do the same thing. That will just quickly pop off. Just loosen this off here. This will disconnect. And then you just twist this. That's a sealed gas to get plugged there. Then you can, and the other beautiful thing is all these become handles, so you can just dump that out just like that. So the very last thing we'll talk about real quick here is portability. Um, now a couple things I'll mention here about the Clearview Cyclone. I've used this for many, many years. Um, now you can see right here there's a very obvious do not lift from right here sticker. Um, this is a polycarbonate top on it. While polycarbonate is incredibly strong, it is not necessarily the toughest plastic in the whole world because it's not incredibly flexible, um, but very, very tough still. Um, now, I have dropped this a couple times and I have cracked it, which I have fixed uh, with CA glue, um, which is fine here. Now, as far as portability goes, you are gonna have to bring another hose with you um, to connect it to your shop vac and all that, so something to consider as well. And the other thing is because it's so high, if you are going to set this up in your shop, uh, most benches, it won't necessarily fit below because this is about 40 inches high with the hose. Um, so just something to consider there. Now the mullet um, is made a little bit differently. Um, they actually encourage you to use this right here as a handle. So it's um, secured solidly right from the bottom all the way to the top. 
It's not made out of polycarbonate. It's made out of actually a softer, more flexible plastic. I don't know exactly what it is, um, but because it's a little bit more flexible, um, it's a little bit more impact resistant. Um, so this can tumble over and you don't have to worry so much about any cracks or things forming like that, which can be good if you're bringing this to job sites and whatnot. Um, and the other really cool thing is, uh, this is about 30 inches tall here. So if you are looking to put it under a bench, it is definitely a possibility to set it up below your bench there too. So yeah, I would say the mullet is a very nice little portable unit. Both of these cyclones, mini cyclones, I would say are top of the heap as far as mini cyclones go. And they're both very, very nice units. Um, but it's just kind of nice to see the differences between the two. Uh, where you got a traditional um, cyclone here versus the new and fanciest model here. So I would say the mullet is probably now the nicest cyclone on the market, in my opinion. Very, very sweet little unit um, that I'm definitely going to be using in my shop. So yeah, if anybody else has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Thanks for watching.